So with the trial and improvement, we want to set out a little table. So we're going to set out the values of x that we choose. The value of x cubed minus 6x. And then a final table to say whether that result is too small or too big. So we'll start um, with 4.5. And what we'll need to do is use our calculator. Cube 4.5. And then take away... 6 lots of 4.5, see what the answer is, see whether it's bigger or smaller than 72. And we see that that comes to 64.125, so it's too small. That's quite a bit too small, so I'm going to jump up now and try 4.8. So I'm going to cube 4.8 and then take away 6 times 4.8 and we'll see what we get there. Well, that really was too much of a big step forward, so I should have gone really to 4.6, so we'll try 4.6 now. So you'll see me repeat the pattern. This is much closer, giving us 69.7, so we'll try 4.7. So, 4.6 then um, gives us 69.7 and 4.7, 75.6. We need to give the answer to one decimal place. So this will be the one decimal is, um, in the column here, will be one of these answers. And the number that gets us closest, it doesn't get us the exact answer, but the one that gets us closest is 4.6. You could subtract 69.7 from 72, you'll have a gap just over 2. Whereas if you look at 4.7, which was larger, the gap there is about 3.6. So it's 4.6 that gets us closest to one decimal place.